righty, let's go ahead and get this started. It's kind of getting late. Um, Coach, that was a heck of an effort, um, and it was a uh, um, pretty good victory for you guys. You guys forced uh, 26 turnovers and out-rebounded um, a team that is uh, was supposed to be dominant inside. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, um, we. I'm really proud of the rebounds. Our goal was to out-rebound by 10. Um, and 22 offensive rebounds was our goal, so we were close. We out-rebounded them by nine. Um, and, and we just do it with mass effort. They're bigger than us. They're stronger than us. They're, um, but we just sent bodies to the glass. And so uh, the extra possessions came in huge today. We did not shoot it well uh, at all. So we needed those extra shots. Right, right. Um, you guys uh, um, just kind of kept climbing that ladder the whole game long. You get closer and you get closer and you get closer until finally with what about six minutes or five minutes left um, you finally got over the hump and uh, got, got that lead yeah um, we did not have a good start we tend to do that and so it would be yeah. really nice on the days that we come out ready to play uh, but once we got into the swing of things about we settled in about three minutes ago in the first quarter and then um, I liked the pace of the game I liked the way it looked uh, so I knew in halftime, I was actually expecting to be down 10, 9, 10, even 15 at halftime. We were down one. Yeah. So we were good with that because we know uh, that we usually have pretty good third quarters. Yeah. You guys are a second half team then. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions uh, for Coach or any of the players? Coach, I'd like to ask you, when you make those mass substitutions, wholesale line changes like that, how do you keep track of who's in the game for what you want to do? Does it confuse the other team? Does it make it tough for them to figure out who they're supposed to guard? I'm sure it does. I don't pay any attention to it. No clue. Couldn't tell you who's on the floor. Um, I'm sure that it's a tough scout. You have to have almost 10 people on your scout or just leave people off. Uh, we are really fortunate to have a great team where we have everyone that can contribute. We have a lot of people that can step up and give you 20, um, and we have a couple kids that can step up and give you 30. And so it's a hard scout. I trust every single person that goes in the game. And so that's nice for me as a coach, just be able to rely on people to show up and hit big shots. Okay. Anybody else? Go ahead, follow up. One other question regarding strategy to prevent the entry pass in the post. Uh, their big girl couldn't get the ball from probably midway through the third quarter on. What's the key to that? Is it the defender inside, or is it the pressure on the on the ball to keep that entry pass? From going? Yeah, it's both, and so we have to have high hands. We're little, um, and so we have to make it tough for them to see the pass on the inside, and then we have to be in front. Um, and it's easier said than done. And if we get burned, it's an easy layup. But that, I mean, we're just so small. That's the only chance we have if they catch it. I mean, she's a remarkable player. She's shooting like sixty percent from the field. So we. Our scout was if she score if she touches it she's scoring so let's make sure she doesn't touch it. Was there any type of little adjustment there to make to turn that around or just the, just the pressure wearing them down? I think back. pressure wearing them down. Brandy, you had a nice game. Um, what are your thoughts on the game? Um, we came in here knew it was going to be tough. Uh, Tampa's a, a good team. Um, we just had to work. Uh, we Started off kind of, you know, slow, had to fill the game out. But uh, like you all were talking about uh, earlier, um, we we're second half team. And so we ended up figuring it out and got the job done. So you guys didn't panic at halftime? No, uh, we're, we've been down like <laughs> way worse, way worse than, you know, other games. So just figured it out, got going. You know. Okay, all right. Um, Great, uh, you guys you guys play a hectic defense. You pressure, you trap, you get all over people. Um, is for someone who doesn't know, is that the Glenville style? Is that how you guys play? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any questions? Yeah, Brianna, you uh, were basically a walking bucket tonight. It's, you got going there. Uh, Late in the first quarter, and it just continued throughout the game. And it, you got you got some freedom there at the high post area, and the mid range jumper was really working. Um, talk a little bit about your performance tonight. Um, well, first I would say I get all my strength from God. Like I can't do anything by myself. But um, I think 
basketball is just finding the gaps, uh, finding where you can, you know, be effective at, and just so happened to be there, and shot was falling, um, so I just wanted to do that, you know, for the team, just falling tonight. You also had nine rebounds in the contest, and you might have been, might be the shortest player on the court tonight. I'm the tallest. <laughs> talk, talk, just talk, talk a little bit about that, you know, that mindset of, of crashing and going to the boards and getting those rebounds. Yeah, um, I don't see myself as being the shortest player on the floor, even though it may be true, you know. I just, I think that's what it is. I don't see myself as being small. Like, if the ball's coming, wherever it is, I'm going to try to get I'm gonna try to get it. You know, and I think it's it's hard over height. That's where my team, you know, is, you know, thrives off of. Anybody else? Go ahead. One more quick question. I know stats are just a bunch of numbers. Do you remember winning a game where the other team shot 53 percent and your team shot 38? That's an amazing disparity there. You would be surprised how many times it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's because look at the shot differential. And, and so that's the whole method behind the madness, right? We're going to try to turn you over, we're going to try to limit ours, and we're going to try to go get more rebounds than you. And so that gives you a chance to win any night because we can shoot poorly and win. And so it's happened multiple times, and, and we've been able to survive in advance. Uh, you know, Coach, how big was the lead tonight with being able to kind of stretch their day out the court? You know, even though she only made one three, and she was taken the you know, they had to respect that shot. Yeah, that lead was huge. And you know, as a senior at this time of year, you always want your seniors to play well. You're always rooting for them um, because it means a little bit more to your seniors. And so um, I, I was proud of what she did. It's a big game for her. She didn't get frustrated when she caught two early fouls. She just stayed in the game, took shots in rhythm, didn't try to force anything, did a really good job inside. Um, and she's going to be big for us in our next game as well. So I was really proud of her. Last question. Anybody want it? Okay, Coach, we're going to let you go, celebrate a little bit, probably get a good night's rest, right? Okay, thank you for your time.